now that more people are in it and there's more people uh, for support and more people for us to support, there's also more people to bounce ideas off of. So, you know, no learning, no learning is done in a silo and it's never done in an echo chamber. You need to spread out. You need to hear what other people think. On my campus, there's, there's a group of us that are basically like faculty leaders in this who have been doing it for a while and who have been advocating for online, have been evaluating our online pieces and what we're doing that's working, what we're not doing that's working. Um, and so we've worked together quite a bit with this team that I just described to you. Um, and so we know kind of where people are coming from and what, you, what might be helpful and what might not be. So we just had an online information session and we had 56 people come and they wanted to meet with um, faculty that were doing things and answer questions and new people came and people that were seasoned were there answering how we did things and didn't do things. And so you, you're getting together frequently in person and also there's a, a fairly quick communication online with each other as well. I participated in a couple of those workshops you know, after my first semester of teaching online, I was invited to attend a couple of workshops to um, inform people about the possibilities of, you know, basically just there were a few of us there uh, demonstrating, well, this is what my course looks like, this is what I decided to do, this is why I think it works, and, and that was it. So, yes, I, I do feel like I'm a part of a community of people teaching online at FIT. Um, and I would, and I think that we need even more discussion about what works and what doesn't work online. Even within my department, I would like to, just yesterday my colleague and I were talking about, you know, how it would be good to have more conversations about how we teach online.